Yeah, can I help you? Can you help me? Yeah, you can start by giving me 15 pieces of chicken, motherfucker. You never considered him for jewels? Yeah, he turned it down. Yeah, he uh, he was offered it and he turned it down. I think it I think that worked out for the best. Yeah, it worked out for the but he was no he was offered jewels and he turned it down. Why would you turn down jewels? I'll tell you why. You want to know why? I'll tell yeah. you why. All right, uh, his people suggested he turn it down. It, it all happened. It's an interesting thing. Um, I wrote initially, I wrote Jules and Vincent for Fishburne to be Jules and Michael Madsen to be Vincent, and then we offered it to Fish. He read it. His people read it, and his people suggested that he pass. They said, you got to pass. You got to pass on this one. And the reason they suggested it is they said, okay, here's the deal. You could have done this last year, but the reason you hired us is to make you a leading man, to make you a star. So yes, if this was your searching for Bobby Fisher time, this was your class action time, then you could have done it. But you can't do that anymore. Now it's got to be Larry Fishburne in ba da 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 and he's, you got to be above the title. And he was like, but I, I begin the movie. I end the movie. You're a supporting character. <sighs> and they're casting John Travolta. You're, you're supporting to John Travolta. You're a supporting character. Part of the thing is you got to say no to supporting roles, no matter how good they are, if you want to be a leading man. All right. Now, actually, their strategy is actually right on. Mm -hmm. If you've gotten stuck in the really good supporting character role and you know, it's hard to turn them down because that's a good director, it's gonna be a good movie, you're working off the big stars, they took me lightly. Their strategy was right on. They took me lightly. Now, the, here's the interesting thing. So he turns it down and talks to me about it though. And he says, look, I wanna do it, all right? But, uh, you know, look, I'm paying these people. So, you know, if I'm paying them, I ought to, I ought to listen to them. You know, they they got a strategy. The movie he did instead of Pulp Fiction was a movie he did with Ellen Barkin, all right? Oh, uh, Bad Company. Bad Company, that's yeah, what it was. Yeah. Yeah, that's the movie he did instead because it was he was starring in it. Yeah. Um, he like, goes into like a little- I like that movie. <laughs> yeah, but he goes into like a little bit of a black hole for the he, next few yeah, years. He and then well, he eventually, what, what he passed up with Pulp Fiction, he eventually gets with The Matrix. Yeah. Yeah, that's where he finally gets it, gets it. But what happened, I mean, it was just the weird turn of events. What ended up happening is, okay, so he turns down Pulp Fiction because it's not a big enough role. He's not the star in it. So Sam Jackson gets the role instead. So Sam Jackson does it. Now, they're going to do Die Hard 3. And they've literally written the role for Larry Fishburne, the black character in it. And, well, if he's holding out for the right movie. This is the right movie. He's one of the leads in it. It's him opposite Bruce Willis. It's going to make three hundred million dollars. Yeah, it's 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 a for sure a hit, and not just a hit, a hit that will play all over the world. So the entire world, not just America, the entire world is going to know who Larry Fishburne is. He will be the guy from Die Hard Three. I love this movie, by the way. But yeah, keep okay. Going. So he is that guy. They've written it for him. Not only that, he knows they can't cast anybody else. They're not going to get Denzel, and they're not going to get Wesley. They yeah. need him. They need him for this movie. So. He asked for a million dollars. They don't want to pay him a million dollars, but they need him. So they're going back and forth, negotiating, 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 and they have one out. And that is, it's now May. It's Cannes Film Festival. Ooh. And Andy Vanya is going to be in Cannes. And there's this guy named Samuel Jackson, who's apparently really good in Pulp Fiction. Ugh. So they're going to go literally and see the premiere because they're going to support Bruce anyway. They're going to go and see the premiere of Pulp Fiction. And if they like the Sam Jackson guy, they're going to pull the offer from Larry Fishburne and give it to Sam. And if they don't like the Sam Jackson guy, they'll close the deal with Larry. And the rest is history. Unbelievable. You got about 10 seconds before those guys see you. When they do, they will kill you. You understand? You are about to have a very bad day. Tell me about it.